To perform a full power down of a Symmetra Arm Unit, you first want to make sure that any attached loads such as servers are powered down correctly. Next, you want to remove the front bezel cover on the Symmetra RM. It'll probably be a good idea to disconnect the Ethernet cable connecting the PowerView display to the intelligence modules. The reason for getting this out of the way is that you can access the system enable switch on the front of the Symmetra RM unit. The system enable switch on the Symmetra RM UPS is to the right of the intelligence modules. Flip it to off and that will begin to power down the UPS. Next, you want to turn off the input circuit breaker on the back of the Symmetra Arm UPS. For additional safety, it's also recommended you please turn off the upstream breaker that feeds the Symmetra Arm from the main breaker panel. With the Symmetra Arm UPS now powered down and the circuit breakers also cut to cut all sources of AC power to the unit, you want to access the battery module so you can remove those and remove all sources of DC power from the UPS as well. Once you've made sure to remove all the front bezel covers that are covering all the battery modules, you next need to undo the screws so you can pull the battery modules forward enough to break the electrical connection. Please note that if you have any extended run frames, adding additional battery capacity to your Symmetra Arm unit in order to make sure that all DC power is not being supplied to the unit, you'll need to either disable the battery modules in the same way for those as well, or you'll need to disconnect the cable that goes from the back of the extended run frame to the back of the Symmetra Arm unit. Once work has been completed on the Symmetra Arm, you'll next begin re-establishing power to the unit by sliding in the batteries and securing them properly. If you have any extended run frames connected to the Symmetra Arm unit, you'll either want to reinsert those batteries as well too, or reconnect the cable that goes from the back of the extended run frames to the back of the Symmetra Arm unit. Next, you'll want to turn on the input circuit breaker on the back of the Symmetra Arm UPS, as well as any upstream breakers that might be feeding the unit. With all circuit breakers feeding the UPS turned back on and the battery modules reconnected, you'll next turn on the Symmetra Arm UPS by turning on the system enable switch located to the right of the intelligence modules. Now that the UPS has been powered back on again, you'll want to reattach the bezel covers to the front of the unit. When reattaching the front bezel that holds the power view display into the Symmetra Arm unit, please be sure to plug the Ethernet cable into the RJ45 port on the main intelligence module. If done correctly, you will see the power view display begin to boot up. With the UPS powered up and the power view display booted up, we'll next need to restore power to the load by going through the power view display. You'll do that by hitting Escape to go to the main menu and then hitting Enter on Control. Next, by using the down arrow, you'll scroll through the control menu until you get to the entry labeled Turn UPS Output On. You will then hit Enter to select that choice. Next, you'll be asked to verify that you want to restore power at the load. Use the down arrow and select the option Yes, Turn UPS On. Hit Enter on that. Immediately after selecting that option, you should get a message saying the UPS has been commanded to turn load power on. This means power is being restored to the load. After a moment, you'll get the message that the load is on and the green load on light will light up on the display. As the load comes back on, the unit will often run a brief diagnostic self-test. At this point, if you wish to do so, you can hit escape on the power view display repeatedly in order to get back out to the main screen. Once the self-test has passed, which usually takes a little bit more than half a minute, and you're back out at the main screen, you should see something like in this picture here with just the load on light lit up. 